Hey guys, it's uh, Dave Bergman uh, giving you a quick tip for audio shoots. Today I'm going to be talking about Osculator um, and some of the fun things we can do with that within Logic and other, um, well this will easily go across other um, other, other platforms as well, um, mainly on the Mac OS. Um, but Osculator is kind of a, a program which can, can convert messages um, from sent from other objects as you can see here into MIDI um, into MIDI objects so MIDI CC's values sorry but today I'm going to specifically be talking about the Wii remote here um, this is pretty exciting um, just for live performance and just kind of manipulation as well kind of giving another dimension on, um, on on playing back your your synths from Logic or any other audio app as you can see here a bit of a live live logo there all right, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to open up Osculator. Um, oh, by the way, Osculator is... Um, you can just download it as a demo off the website. There we go. So this is Osculator. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, so it's obviously made for Wii's. Look, it's got a little... Look at that, Wiimote. Oh, that's... That's nice. Look at that. Open it. It's discovering it already. So a Wiimote is um, pretty much the Bluetooth. Uh, it runs on, on, on Bluetooth. So uh, um, on the Wii remote, which I have here in my hand, it's going to be pressing the one and two buttons together. Um, and little blue LEDs will start flashing. And oh, look. There we go. We've got a little tick. We're all good. And you'll see we're instantly showing up with... Um, certain um, messages here from the Wii remote. So when I'm moving them, that little yellow thing will move. But first we'll just talk about the setup. Um, so we've got the outputs here, the pitch roll in your, which is the accelerometers inside the Wii remote. Um, you can go, you can use the raw Excels. I haven't really played around with that or um, the infrared, which has got a little infrared for positioning. Um, but it's not really um, going to be useful for what we're doing today. Um, so smoothing, this is important um, for the accelerators. Um, I generally go between 40 and 50 with the smoothing. Um, I'll show you why a bit later. Um, but it just smooths out the motion a little bit so you don't get any jittery, um, jittery effects happening. Great. So... You may know, if you know the Wii remote, you know that there's quite a few buttons on it and they haven't really showed up here. Um, but Osculator is kind of cool in the fact that it'll only show up what you send to it. So I'm going to press the A button here on the Wii remote. And there you go. It shows up instantly as Wii 1 button A. Um, so I'm going to go through all the buttons. 1 and 2, plus and minus... Um, up, down, left, right, kind of orders them kind of um, alphabetically, I think, yeah. So, great. How exciting is this? We've got all our, all our buttons here and you can see when you, when you press them, you've got a little yellow, yellow thing here next to what, what, whatever you're pressing and because of these are velocity um, controlled, they're continuous controlling, they're kind of going on and off as I move the remote. If I just put it down the table it'll just stop except for your your is so boring it always wants to play all right so i'm going to show you a cool little thing here's a little thing called quick look if you look at if you press any of the buttons you select any of the parameters so quick look here cool and what we get is a nice little graph i'm going to put on the white because it's probably easy to see so Pitch, I'm going to tilt the pitch the Wii remote up, and pitch it down again. And that's kind of cool. And that gives you like a visual representation of what's happening. Um, this is what we talk about the smoothing as well. So we're on 50 at the moment. Um, if you go to zero, you can see the movement starts getting a lot more erratic. And I'm, I'm moving it literally as smooth as I possibly can, and you can see that um, it's. It's, it's picking up too many imperfections in 
Oh, my weak arms. Okay, so accelerating. Accelerator is smoothing that out. So we've got about 50 and you can see it kind of makes nice smooth lines. And when you're talking about when we're going to use this as a controller, it kind of makes a difference. Um, if you go up too high, like let's go to 100 for an example, it's, I'm tilting it up and it kind of smooths it out a bit too much. It gives you, it, you lose all your control. Um, but, you know, so yeah, I'll keep that at about 50 for now. Um, cool. So that's setting up Osculator. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, I would like to control my, um, my mod wheel for a synth that I've got running here in Logic. I've got Omnisphere. Awesome. Omnisphere is incredible. It's got a sound here. It sounds a bit boring. We might need to mod it up. So I'm just going to play it on my keyboard here. And I'm playing with the mod wheel. So I'm going to mod wheel up, down, up, down. Okay, so the mod wheel is kind of controlling a cutoff here on this synth. Um, now, wouldn't it be cool if we could use the Wii remote to do that? So here we have event type column. This is where Osculator becomes really, really awesome. Click on it. Look at all these options we have. It's crazy. Um, today I'm just going to be focusing on MIDI CC, uh, MIDI Continuous Control. Uh, those, those of you familiar with MIDI will know MIDI CC quite well. Um, and value. So there's 127 values, 128 if you count zero, I guess. Um, and there's a few that are the kind of default set um, for controlling different parameters. Um, MIDI CC1 is the mod wheel, which I was just using then to control the, um, the cutoff for the Omnisphere. So now when I play a note... If you're looking at the graph, that's my Wii remote controlling modulation wheel so that's just you know a very basic example um, of what you can use to control this amazing program just to give you a, um, another quick example uh, where am I here uh, where's the level yeah so if I want to you know learn MIDI CC learn so now that's just going off that's directly the value controlling the value of of the of that um, I'm gonna unlearn that because that's gonna be really not useful um, <laughs> when I go to play um, another cool cool thing we've got the roll which is literally twisting the twisting the controller and um, you can open up another quick look window and you can see that I'm rolling it here I'm going up and down and you can see how these two are kind of correlating now another cool um, control is the acceleration um, which pretty much is every direction and that just kind of controls see I'm kind of moving it slowly and then you start moving it fast like you're flicking it um, and you can see once it gets over this line it's obviously going to send a send a, a message so you can use that I think oh MIDI let's just send it a note so we can go go um, E3 that's kind of cool so if you had a sampler or something and you had um, a sample that you wanted to trigger when you flick the remote, um, that would be kind of cool. So the possibilities are kind of endless with um, with this program and I haven't even got onto doing the buttons. So you can, you know, do the buttons as well. So you can make a button, you can make a button, a MIDI note as well. So you can, 
if I press button one. Now when you have the button and you quick look that, it's either on or off. Um, and obviously all the other buttons are the same with that. But yeah, I just wanted to give you just a quick exposure into Osculator and the awesomeness of it. Um, yeah, and just using Wii, the Wii Remote as something other than um, wasting your time playing uh, playing games. Not that, you know, it's always a bad thing. All right, so I hope that's been helpful for you guys. Um, thanks. <laughs>